Having set your bike up and checked it over, done our standard spike safety check, which we do before we ride every time. A little bit of extra consideration on this occasion to the setup of the brakes, etc. Um, let's just revisit some fundamentals that underpin um, the whole speed control issue. Um, one of the things we looked at is the concept of under rotation, driving energy through the bike. You're not a passenger balanced on top, you're pushing the bike down the trail and you're engaged with the bike nice and strongly. So we're just going to quickly revisit that, that concept for those of you that have uh, only joined us in the last few issues. You might have read the term under rotation, but let's look a little bit more about how it's applied when it comes to speed control, particularly controlling the acceleration or decelerating. But then we can look at the flip side and see how under rotation can be used to actually accelerate the bike and therefore apply to the other side of speed control, getting a bit more gas on. So braking, obviously, when you put your levers in, Hopefully your pads engage with your disc, grip nice and tightly, and that slows the bike down, thank you very much. Doesn't do a lot for ourselves, doesn't really slow us down. So what we've got to think about is how we're going to control our mass. I see many guys coming and girls coming out of a descent, shaking their arms. Whoa, got massive arm pump there. Lots of work being done with the arms on the way down. Lots of controlling of the body mass has been going on through being thrown forward and then pushing back. It's like doing 101 push-ups as we go down a trail. The faster you go, the more you grip on, the tighter those muscles become and the more lactic builds up and that's where your arm pump comes from. Personally, I want to put the weight down through my feet, put more control down through my pedals, dropping my heels in and bear more weight and more force, braking force through my big muscles. So we're going to look at how under rotation isn't the case of just shifting your weight back, that's a real misconception, but dropping your weight down and into the bike, ensuring that your momentum is dealt with down here through your feet and through your legs rather than continually Con controlling your momentum with your arms. Josh is going to cruise through and we're just going to break gently really just to show how the momentum starts to push energy down into the front of the bike, the front of the bike dips but rather than rotating with the bike by clearing the saddle and just sinking ever so slightly from a low speed Josh can put a lot of the force down through his feet. So on a simple piece of trail braking quite gently the little piece of a bit of momentum pushing Josh's body mass forward is dealt with by the legs and rather than rotating forward as the bike dips slightly, sinking into the bike slightly and keeping that centred position in terms of not getting thrown over the centre line and over onto the forks but sinking down into the bike so we remain head, bum and feet in that relationship regardless of the change of gradient or momentum pushing him forward. We're going to look at that a bit more detail as things get steeper, as the braking gets more powerful and obviously the forces therefore of gravity pulling and momentum pushing build up.